Welcome to String Deluxe, my name is Mr. Orange, I just had an ice cream and I'm in a good mood. So the, today's video is a total beginner's guide, a total beginner's video, so how you can best play PC games, how you can install Steam. Uh, I give you uh, all the basic functions from downloading Steam Launcher, finding, uh, using the store, finding uh, cheaper keys, etc. So all of this in this video. So if you already have Steam installed, if you're already following my channel for for, for years so I would of course be happy if you just watch this video too but it's not necessary so this is a beginner's guide so guys this is this is definitely just for those people that are coming right now from console gaming or maybe parents that want to install steam for their uh, children etc so hey guys so let's jump directly into it so it was very important that I mentioned this because otherwise people say so Mr. Orange what what are you doing for videos here so Guys, that's Steam. That's the Steam Launcher. Or that's the Steam Store, better said. That's not the Steam Launcher. This is the Steam Store page. How do you get the, to the Steam Store page? So you go uh, you go to Google search and you write Steam Store. Steam Store. So And then you click on the first. Welcome to Steam Store. It's not uh, just www.steam.com. Uh, it's ste it's store.steampowered.com. Uh, Steam so that's very important, my friends. <laughs> All right. So And then you come to this page. So storesteampowered.com. That's the address. So And now you're asking yourself, so how do I download the launcher? How do I get Steam now? So then you click on Login. Here we come to login. If you already have an account, you sign in with your account name, your password, or sign in with the QR code from your Steam mobile app. So also, if you go on your uh, on your app store for 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 iPhone or for for Android, uh, there you can also download the Steam mobile app. You need this for the two two uh, two uh, way authentication. So here you can create also a new. You can create a new account as well. But we, if we are on a new PC, we want now to install Steam. So then you click there, install Steam. Then you get to this nice page here. Steam is the ultimate destination for playing, discussing, creating games. You see over 7.8 million people playing right now on Steam. Over 25 million people are online. So this is so impressive, guys. Over 30,000 games. So forget your consoles forget your consoles you have all the games on steam so i'm for this reason i'm a pc gamer and not a console gamer anymore have been a console gamer long long time before and you're going to have vr and you're going to have the steam deck so so how do you get it now on on max and uh, on 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 on, P, uh, on microsoft uh, windows install steam so we click on install steam and then you are downloading the setup that's very important so download the setup here uh, and you save it there all right so and then you go back you have steam setup and you click double click here steam setup you have this downloaded maybe put it on your on your desktop if you don't know where to find it after you have done this my friends very important then you're going to have the steam launcher installed so the steam launcher is then installed but you have to create a password log in and also uh, before i forget it then we go here and you create a steam guard mobile authenticator that's very important also because then no one else can get into your steam account and uh, i made a couple of videos how you avoid uh, steam hacking uh, and there are some very nasty tricks of some some of the of, so of the bad guys that want to steal your account so never click on links uh, of course that people sent you in a private message for example people that you don't know so it starts already with this so then we are on the launcher here we are on the launcher guys and now you ask yourself so oh my god what am i doing now now i come to the second part of my video now you want to get a game you want to play a game now let's say you want counter strike 2 so you click on counter strike 2 then you get to the store page of counter strike 2 it looks looks a bit like this and if you don't own this game yet this part is uh, is not there on the, on your store page then you can see here if you scroll a little bit down you see free to play play game and then you click on play game or you click here on on install like for example i can go now to team fortress i think i don't have it installed so but also a free free to play game and then yeah oh i have it already in my library but then you click here on uh, on install 
So that is a very important guy. So, and then also, also you can buy, well, that's how, for example, decades. you want to buy something, you want to buy an upgrade. Let's go to the new FIFA game. Uh, there you can, uh, let's say I add this to my card and then it looks like this. So it looks like this when I add this to my card. So your shopping card, so I can buy this now. So I'm not going to buy this now, but I, then you can click purchase for myself, purchase for myself, and then you can uh, pay with PayPal, credit card, and uh, a lot of other different ways. So a long time ago, it was even possible to pay with uh, Bitcoin, but then Wolf uh, stopped this because uh, the price of Bitcoin was so volatile. So <laughs> that's actually so funny. So then also here, make sure that you remove games again. Uh, when then, for example, uh, yeah, you you would have a game double, then don't don't buy it. So continue shopping if you want to add more games. So this is the shopping cart, guys. And then we have the wish list. So sometimes you just uh, want to keep a game uh, in your memory. This is the wish list here. How do you do this? You click here, add to wish list, and then you can also follow the games. If you follow the game, you will see those games on your on your newsfeed. This is the friends activity, your newsfeed. And on, when you follow a game, you're going to see the news of this uh, of this specific games here on the friends activity. So, but I don't want to jump too fast. I, I see already, I'm probably too fast for, for some of you. So this is the store page. So on the store page, you have special deals. Uh, yeah, weekend deals. The weekend starts uh, mostly in th on Thursdays if you're in Europe. Um, then you have uh, Monday, Monday midweek madness deals. So this is every Monday. You have deals uh, throughout the whole uh, week and then uh, and then you have those special sales you have the winter the summer the spring uh, the autumn sale halloween sale and you have then so called fats like for example now here the shoot them up fest there you can also uh, find sometimes games that are cheaper so how do you see a game is cheaper it's here written like for example minus 50 percent then you see the new price then uh, that's important that you see uh, this game is now cheaper than it has been before so in the on the fest for example you can also play demos this is very interesting for people that do not have so much uh, games already and also don't want to spend so much ma money in the beginning Beginning, but they already want to play a lot steam has thousands of free demos thousands of free demos so besides of the free games you have thousands of free demos you hover over the picture and then you click on install demo that's here that's where you do it guys so that's where you do it oh claim reward so sometimes you can also claim a reward now i claim the sticker oh my god i'm not not going to all of this but if you want to know more about uh, about stickers about backgrounds how to make your profile nice then you go to the steam point shop so here i made some extra videos that you also find on my channel so just write a uh, steam point shop where i explain you how to how this works so stuffy items for example we have now uh, online so that's pretty cool so i'm going to buy them all uh, so that's the steam point shop so you if you buy something you get steam points if you spend one dollar you get 100 points if you spend one euro you get 100 points Oh la la guys, so I know that's already a lot of information. So Steam Deck, Steam Deck, if you want to play like uh, those people in the park, in, uh, in the garden, then you need to buy a Steam Deck. A Steam Deck you can get from 419 euros up to 679 euros for the biggest version with uh, most uh, with the most memory to, to save your, your games. I would say it's a great device. It's pretty powerful actually for such a smaller device and you might be uh, going to like it a lot. So also, if you want to play VR, Steam has also its own VR headset, a head mounted display, we call it uh, in, 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 PC, in the PC world. So there you can get the full package Valve Index VR for over a thousand euros uh, uh, because you need those satellites. So satellites are very important. So this is for beginners. So I assume you don't have a VR headset yet. So if you don't scroll down so all of this in the middle you can kind of forget but the most important part is then if you scroll down here you always see the new and trending games like cocoon is now a new game that just came out that's interesting uh, or you see them for, or if you want to play now for example uh, you want to play oops now we get here we go so we want to play the new Call of Duty game, for example. I can imagine because you heard about your friends are all play Call of Duty on PC. Then you can uh, you can go now. You just click on one Call of Duty item that you find. Then you click on Call of Duty here again. Downloadable con 
content so you see i was rating it negatively but that has a reason uh, and then for example you see uh, call of duty and you can buy this so uh, buy call of duty points even and then here if you can scroll down you see also all the different dlcs that a game has to offer so it's sometimes crazy so here i can buy for example all the dlcs dlcs are downloadable content for 445 euros oh my god that's crazy let's go for example to the new call of duty that you can buy here here you see we don't have any dlcs yet but we have different uh, versions of this game so always make sure that you study this very carefully maybe you watch some youtube videos to, in order to find out uh, which version of a game you should buy but uh, in general i would say the basic game like here for 70 euros call of duty modern warfare for 70 years is okay enough for you because then the world edition for example has some 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 more down loadable content and battle pass uh, stuff etc so if you want to know if you can play a game can i run a game so let's say ah let's 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 go here for example we look at call of duty uh cold war because here we have information and then you can look here at the system requirements so for this you have to scroll down again you look here at the system requirements so minimum requirements and then you have the recommended requirements like gtx 970 for example then also here on the right side of the page you have a lot of more information but if you have a steam deck maybe it's important to look here for the steam deck competitive compatibility so if it's uh, like unsupported don't buy this game for the steam deck you're not going to be able to play it if you want to see the reviews that you're interested in if you want to know if this game is something for you then you scroll down you see review so thumbs up thumbs down so that's very binary either people like it or not like it and then on the basis of this we have the uh, we have the rating mostly positive uh, than recent reviews or all the reviews mostly uh, all over the reviews are positive so if you want to find other games by the developer of activision you go here again on the upper right side you click on activision and then you see all of the other games that they are developing a lot of call of duty games so this is maybe an easy way my friends to jump to uh, a lot of different games so all right guys so then i think uh, also what is important to steam guard mobile mobile authenticator also download this immediately uh, download immediately the steam mobile app for your uh, for your android or your, your iphone and set this up also what is cool you do not really need to buy games on the steam store you can buy them on so-called uh, key seller pages so i'm just using those key seller pages here uh, where i think uh, i have a lot of uh, trust in them then for example here cd keys you can buy some games like starfield you get here for, for 51 euros uh, uh, you can buy there but also humble bundle the humble bundle games uh, the bundles uh, is also pretty good if you want to grow your library where you click quickly also this page here is pretty nice i'm not saying the name because last time i said the name but i was demonetized on my video another important page is steamdatabase.info so you have plenty of different pages apps information etc uh, 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 third-party apps or, or pages we call them but uh, steam database is one of the most important ones there you see the most played games you see trending games if you want to know who is what what are people playing right now you check out the trending games now for example you see that uh, now recently uh, ea sports uh what what is the real name so F fc fc yeah uh, fifa fifa football championship probably is here is, is, uh, is up here so you have hot releases popular releases and the most important part is uh, always when there is a sale going on you check out you check out the the sales here the sale tab and then you see which what is the price of game so always important check this out my friend so really that's the very important part if we go back here on steam and now i click for example then on my browser i have on my browser a net on where i can then also see for example how many people are online right now you see counter-strike 2 has 1.2 million people online right now in counter-strike 2 this is impressive it has a peak of 1.3 million uh, today so this is a uh, um, additional information also the steam database rating you get it see you get to see it here in percentage so for this you have to uh use a uh 
you have to use a special attachment to your browser. All right, guys, so where am I? Where am I? So let's go to the library. Let's imagine you have downloaded your first game. So then you will see this here on the left side. Then you click, for example, here on no Counter-Strike. You see this here on the left side. So here you can rate the game, but then you have to click the green button and then you're going to play this game. It's as it's, it's simple as this. And in the game, of course, I mean, that's then another uh, uh, maybe more difficult point. Uh, you have to uh, 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 adapt, adjust uh, the, 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 the graphic settings uh, to your PC, uh, etc. But if you have a decent PC, uh, it's mostly going to run uh, easily. So, But I'm not going to cover this in this video so this would go too far so how, do, how does the library work so we have the home button if you use the home button you have suggestions of games to play next but you see your ea play games uh, for example EA play is a subscription service which is included in in steam so but you have to pay extra you scroll down you see all your games so you see all your games so Mr. Orange has quite some games. Sir. Then we can click here on your collection. You can see the games where you create the collections. I, for example, have a backlog collection, games that I need to play, that I want to find out if I like them. Otherwise, I kick them out and then I'm not looking at them ever uh, again. <laughs> so then we have the profile. So let's go here. So library, also for friends, you can uh, set uh, online away, invisible offline. So I would always say you set it on on away. Then I go on my own profile, Mr. Orange profile. This is how my profile looks. And here I can edit my profile. Click here, edit your profile uh, with the uh, uh, with the items you get on in the Steam point shop. So as I already told you, so then you can add your profile nicely as this. You can put some, some badges there. You can upload your own videos. You see your friends. Uh, you can upload screenshots, videos. Uh, as I said, you can uh, write reviews for games. You can create artworks and guides. So all of this is possible and you can uh, uh, collect uh, a lot of other tiny little things let's put it like this so so then you want to be a bit more active if you're friends then you go on your friend activity there you also see uh, news from uh, games that way that you follow for example but you see then for example this friend he bought all of those games you can see this and you can write a little comment uh, you can like this all of this is impossible uh, that's pretty pretty cool bah, guys so much content so much content so much information so i would say then uh, friends groups content badges inventory so write me down below in the commentary section if you enjoyed this video if you uh, want to have more of those basic videos if you're interested in more of those basic videos i'm happy to make more of the basics uh, otherwise uh, i wish you a wonderful day and check out my other game uh, uh, videos of course on this channel see you bye bye